Hello. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, and I decided that today would be a good day to record a reading vlog, so that's what I'm going to do. I've decided that I'm going to go to Barnes and Nobles today and spend my $25 gift card. I've had it for a while. I got it for my birthday, and I haven't used it yet, so I figured I would go find a new book because, well... I need a new book but also I'm at my mom's place and I didn't bring that many books with me the books that I did bring I'm not necessarily wanting to read those so it's time for a new book and I thought that I would take you guys along with me I just woke up a few minutes ago it's about 10 o'clock in the morning now Barnes & Noble doesn't open until 10 30 I think yeah, so they don't open until 10.30, so perfect timing. I'm just going to make my bed, get dressed, and we'll be on our way. I do have a list of books that I've been keeping for a while, a list of books that I'm interested in getting, that I want to get at some point. I might go off of that list and just pick one, or I might pick a random one. It really just depends. You know, book shopping is so unpredictable. You never know. Sometimes you have a list and other times you just go with the flow and you buy the book that speaks to you and that might just happen today. Hi, can I have one uh, 24 ounce caramel jitter chino? Alright. Put my mask on. Do you guys keep masks in your car? If you don't, I suggest that you do it because there have been so many times where I leave my mask on the dresser or I leave it in another bag that I'm not using for that specific day and then I don't have a mask and then I have to buy one and it's just like this whole thing. Oh, uh, no, it's okay. Wow. Wow. I have to listen to this song again. It's a classic! It's a classic. So I'm here. I made it to Barnes & Noble's. I just realized that I've never bought anything from Barnes & Noble's. Is that weird? I'm always buying books from uh, my local bookstore, random bookstores that I come across, or ordering them online somewhere, and I've never actually purchased anything from Barnes & Nobles, but I love going into them. Like, I go into them whenever I can because I love the atmosphere, it's quiet, it smells fresh. The atmosphere is just good, but I don't buy anything from Barnes & Nobles. But we're gonna be buying something today, so I'm really excited about it. I have my gift card, I have my camera, I have my mask, of course. Don't forget the mask. We're gonna go in, hopefully find something good. Let's put all of the positive vibes into the universe. Let's just put them all out there. I will find a book that I love today. Amen. It's been a few hours. I've been at home just hanging out. I did my nails while I waited for my camera batteries to finally charge all the way. But I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the books that I got and why I got them. So I ended up getting three books in total, which 
I went over my limit, which it wasn't really a structured limit. The gift card was $25, so I knew I would get one book and that it might go a little bit over. But I ended up getting three books because I just... I couldn't resist. I got two cookbooks and then one other book. So the other book that I got other than the cookbooks is the little book of yoga practices. It's so cute. Look at it. I ended up getting it because I've gotten back into yoga recently and I say gotten back into because when I was younger my mom introduced me to yoga. She put me in yoga uh, classes and I was pretty young I was around 10 years old so 10 year olds weren't really into yoga at that time so I was the only person in the class it was my own personal yoga class I felt so special but I loved it and it basically introduced me to breathing and being still and being conscious and I want to get back into doing the poses and making it a daily thing so I wanted to get something that would help me get back into it and you know teach me some stuff it was only 15 bucks and in it are a bunch of different practices that you can do and what I like about this book is that it separates everything by time of day and then there are different practices for different things like mobilizing your spine morning awakening practices midday pick-me-up practices evening unwinds and I love that because now that I'm getting back into it I just need practices that are already created that I can just do and then I also got my very first cookbook this is Vegetable Kingdom by Bryant Terry who is a vegan chef he is a black man which is right on brand with my booktube channel being that I like to really highlight black authors and black writers. He is a black chef so I'm really excited about this. What's cool about this cookbook is that he infuses the African diaspora and the Asian culture because his wife is Asian. You'll discover tempting new approaches to your favorite vegetables, grains, and legumes and fall in love with ones you've never had before. So this is a vegan recipe cookbook and the reason why I chose this one is because I want to get more into eating vegan dishes. I do like chicken, okay? I like chicken, I do like eggs, I like cheese. And that's why I want to do vegan dishes more often because I know that they're really healthy for you, obviously. I'm not saying that I'm going to go completely vegan, at least not right away, but I want to start moving in that direction and eat less meat. I don't really eat a lot of meat to begin with, though. Chicken is kind of the main one. I do love bacon, but I don't eat it that often, which I'm assuming is a good thing. Along with that cookbook, I got this one. It's Vegan Cooking for Beginners. This one seems a little bit more simple, obviously, for beginners. It was on sale for $10, which you can't beat. It really dives into what someone who is be uh, vegan, ah, that's not the right word, the history of veganism, what that means, what a vegan eats, what a vegan doesn't eat. It's the getting started for me. It's it's something about knowing what to buy when you go to the grocery store that gives me a little bit of angst. So I'm happy that they put this list together. <sighs> but yes, those are my new books that I got today. I am actually about to go to the grocery store to pick up a few things so that I just have them in my pantry. It is already... 712 and I still want to do some yoga today using my new yoga book so let's get ready to go so we can get back here I think that one of the main reasons I've never been super interested in going vegan is because I just didn't know where to start but I've decided that maybe the best thing to do is to just start with one meal and go from there 
I didn't make anything this night after getting back home from the grocery store, but I did make vegan buttermilk pancakes the next morning and they were so delicious. I love yoga because of its ability to really calm my mind down. I'm someone who can get pretty overwhelmed when there is a lot going on around me or when I feel rushed and sometimes I can feel the energy of other people and that can be a little overwhelming too. But one of my favorite things to do is to just be still and yoga allows me to do that. I'm really grateful for this new yoga book because of all the different practices it gives. So far, I've tried a few of the morning awakening practices and targeted stretches. This night, I did a few evening unwinds. The first one was for an active mind and the other was to open your hips. Not only are there pictures to mirror, but there are very detailed descriptions of the poses at the beginning of the book, which I really love. Before I go, I just want to say thank you so, so much for sticking around and hanging out with me today, going book shopping, getting coffee, everything. I appreciate you and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day or night and I'll see you later.